high drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown 49ers. Curry! What's going on, you guys? This is Rudy Ortiz from The Audible. Now, today I want to talk about something that's been kind of getting under my skin for a while now, and it's about Antonio Brown and his twerking antics. Not too long ago, Antonio Brown started twerking after a touchdown in the end zone, and consequentially, the NFL fined him about $9,000. Now, here's the thing. I personally am a strong believer that this is an emotional game, that this is a passionate game, and if you don't have emotions or passions, then why are you even on the field? Because you need those two things in order to excel. We enjoy the entertainment factor. Now granted, twerking isn't for everybody. It should probably be limited to some people, but hey, twerking is a way of celebration nowadays. They even got Instagram pages just completely devoted and committed to twerking. A little bit different on the Instagram, but still nonetheless, it's a form of celebration. Is it worth a $10,000 fine or a $9,000 fine, whatever it may be? I don't think so. And also, it's really just constraining the passion and the excitement that some of these players bring to the field. I mean, you just scored an NFL touchdown. Let the man celebrate. Let him twerk it out. Let him pop and lock. Let him do the worm. Whatever it is that he might want to do, let him express himself. And here's the thing. I don't mind the debauchery. I don't. I'm a grown man. I paid $150 for the ticket. I'm wearing a $70 jersey. Like, I want to be entertained. It's okay. Bring it on. I don't mind the debauchery. But what I do mind is the hypocrisy. Because as much as the NFL wants to say that they don't want any sexual lewd con conduct on the field and whatnot, at the same time, every single game, you got about 30 cheerleaders out there working it. And you're doing a good job, ladies. Don't let me get it twisted. You're doing a good job. But they're out there working it. They got the little halter tops. They got the little mini skirts. They got the little pom-poms. They're out there, hands up in the air, making it fair for a square, having a good time. And then every single month on top of that, the NFL comes out with the hottest cheerleaders magazine. They start ranking the hottest cheerleaders on the field. So don't tell me that you want to put the sexual lewd conduct, conduct off to the side and you don't want it to be associated with the NFL. We're objectifying women and we seem to be okay with that. Antonio Brown twerking, not a good thing. Little redhead on the side with the holler top, that's perfectly okay. Just seems a little weird, just seems a little backwards, seems a little hypocritical. As far as I'm concerned, I don't mind the entertainment value. Let the man twerk and let the ladies twerk too if they want. If you got any comments about this, please make sure you leave them down below and make sure you guys tune in Monday through Friday, 6 to 9 a.m., 1050 KMBR, The Audible, The Sports Leader.